Howdy folks, I'm Dirk Tharp and welcome to the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. Today we are a special guest of Patrick Andres of Prestige Homes. Patrick does top-notch homes and really brings a lot of commercial innovations to the residential level and that's why we're here. We're going to show you today galvanized composite steel decking and how it can benefit your next suspended slab. So without further ado, let's saddle up and ride. After many years in concrete, I cannot count the times that I've gone to jobs where the front porch is poured and the concrete's cracked and everybody's mad and they all want to say it's the concrete's fault. The concrete didn't, it shouldn't have cracked, blah, blah, blah. The truth is we're simply backfilling the front porches and then usually you just put a corrugated decking on top and when you're lucky it doesn't crack but I'm promising you in time it's going to crack so I want to show you today an advancement in steel decking that is found and been around a while in the commercial arena and that you can have at the residential level and there's no reason you shouldn't incorporate this into your designs so let's look at it closely here it looks like corrugated decking, but there's more to it. Galvanized steel composite decking. This is actually called deep deck. Um, but no matter where you live in the United States or in the world for that matter, your local steel company is going to have this information, if not stock something. This specific design is perfect for residential use because it's called 4.5 because we have a four and a half inch deep slab at the low point and it gets up to maybe two and a half at the, at the top. You'll see in a minute when we go underneath how this is suspended. But what we've got is, in this case, is a suspended deck so that the, the uh, homeowner will get to have good storage this entire square feet underneath us. The main difference from the con conventional corrugated decking methods we've all used and what I'm showing you today is in the design of the walls of this specific composite corrugated decking. Let's look close. You see this pattern. These are fingers or ribs protruding from the sides all the way down both sides throughout this entire sheet. What that does is, when you pour this concrete is in a fluid state, as it goes into a hardened state, it actually adheres and grabs these protrusions or ribs. And so what's happening is, it's drawing up the material into one composite unit. So what that means is, we don't just have concrete resting on corrugated decking, that's resting on a beam or in the case of a porch resting on backfill. We actually now have a solid surface that's one unit, steel and concrete together. So that gives you more ability to span than you could do with conventional materials. It's going to give you, um, if this were an interior application, which this clearly is not, we're going to get better temperature control. There's so many advantages to this product. But the main thing is to understand those protrusions, as simple as that looks, change everything. Now, when you, before you pour this concrete, you're still going to put down welded wire mesh at the minimum, or you're going to put rebar. And that's really you and your engineer figuring out what you want to do and what kind, you know, what, what you're going to use this for will determine how much extra reinforcement you need. But my advice at the minimum is at least put the wire mesh. Um, you're still going to need to join it like you would regular conventional concrete. Um, the wire's purpose is to hold that together with aggregate interlock when it snaps in that joint. So now we're going to go underneath and show you this particular house what he's done for this suspended slab. So now we're underneath the deck that we just looked at and I wanted to show you what he's doing down here. 
Uh, we've got a suspended porch above our head. So now this is all usable space. You see that uh, the contractor, which is Patrick, uh, has put in a steel I-beam in the dead center to carry the load. He's got a column. And then all around the perimeter, uh, he's got his block, a block collar built and filled. So it's like a full lintel. It's a full beam carrying the load all the way around us. So I just wanted to show you some applications where you would, you would be able to use this type product in your home. Um, once again, we're not here to discuss engineering. You, you obviously, between the span tables and the load tables, uh, are going to need to get with your own code departments on how to design this and what it's going to take and how thick everything has to be, and et cetera. But I just wanted to show you, it's such an easy way to create more space underneath the home. So now that we've looked at the material, explained its uh, key benefits to helping your construction of, of, of your uh, home, let's talk about how do you get the material. I'm the concrete cowboy, not the steel cowboy. You're going to need to get with your local steel company and contact them to find out what, it, get with that salesperson because that's their job. And they're going to supply you with, with tables. Um, everything you need to know about the span and the load is available on any of these types of products, no matter who the manufacturer is. They have reams and reams of tables. Um, in, in a simple case such as this one, honestly, having the span table for your uh, project inspector, everybody's happy. As, as complexity builds on, you need to involve your engineer and put him with your steel guy. Don't assume these type things. Uh, rely on others' expertise. So that's my tip on how to get out of these unsightly front porch and back porch cracks, suspended slabs uh, that, that plague us all. Uh, like I said, this is a tried and true material. It's just not made the common leap into the residential field. And that's the purpose of the cowboy bringing you the tip today. So uh, we want to thank Patrick for letting us come out again, my friend. We learned a lot about this composite metal decking. I'm Dirk Tharp. This has been the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. And until next time, yippee Kaye concrete. Legal disclaimer. The views expressed by the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy Although profound, and his actions, albeit masterful, are his and his alone. If you've enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. And by all means, we look for your feedback. If you've got a, uh, a session you'd like us to do, or some questions you'd like answered, give me the feedback below, or email me at carolinasconcretecowboy at gmail.com. Happy trails.